bit of inspiration from the floral theme because it's yes. cauliflowers. Absolutely. <laughs> I I know, we're so cheesy, aren't we? <laughs> it's good. It is good. It's good. So. so we've got beautiful humble cauliflower, okay? And um, it's such a great vegetable. It's so in vogue right now. Um, I've basically taken off the leaves. Mm -hmm. Don't discard that. It's full of flavour. Why buy another pak choy leaf? If you can eat these, they'll be lovely yeah. and delicious. That makes sense. Yes, and full mm -hmm. of vitamin C. Sure. So we've broken it up into florets, okay? Now we're just going to basically drizzle with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt and some ground white pepper which is a lovely spice used in a lot of Chinese ingredients. It gives a nice little heat and also some Chinese five spice powder. Wow. So cauliflowers are really, really, you know, on trend in mm. all the restaurants, but I'm doing a sort of a slight sort of Chinese kind of twist to sure. this. So five spice roasted cauliflower. That it's that brilliant. simple. Yeah. Now what I do is I add a little bit of water, just a tiny bit on the bottom. So I want it lovely and roasted on the top. Sure. And on the bottom, I want it lovely and soft and cooked. Ah, oh, that makes sense. Yes, yeah. but not too much. Otherwise, you will get your soggy cauliflower, I mean, which wouldn't that. be in very mm. fashion. <laughs> so that goes in the oven, 180 degrees for about 20 minutes. Perfect. Then I've got the wok all fired up. Okay, so nice and hot. Now in with oh, a little bit of oil, sure. some rapeseed oil. Okay, and then give the oil a swirl. In with the garlic. It's so fast, it's really, isn't it? It's great. Oh, I love it. Mm. And in with a little bit of the cabbage leaves. Right. Okay. Oh, that, is that Sorry, the cauliflower yeah, leaves, leaves, which is not... the same, in the same family <laughs> sure, as the cabbage. Sure, sure. <laughs> so we're not wasting a thing. We're not wasting anything. Get that really nice and hot. So now what you can do is you can add a little bit of water right. just around the edges. And you hear that sizzle. Mm. Just helps That's what you to want. create some steam. Okay. And then what we do is we push the leaves to one side. We add a little bit of oil. Just here. Sure. And then in with the beef. Now with the beef, I've marinated it in some Chinese spice spice, some Shaoxing rice wine, yeah. soy sauce, chili, and ginger. And it's just a beautiful marinade. You can mm. use this with sirloin beef, rum steak, if you don't have, you know, if this is a little bit more extravagant, sure. chicken or fish. So you just give that a good stir together, nice and seared. And at this stage, we're going to add in a sauce, a pre-made sauce, just cold stock, oyster sauce, and a little bit of light soy sauce. Lovely. What we want to do is just bring that to the bubble mm. and it'll be absolutely gorgeous. It's so easy. It's so easy and quick. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, we've got some ready-made here. Now, because this is live telly, <laughs> need a little bit of time. Now, we're going to serve this up. So... It looks fantastic. Loves my favourite grub. Oh, that looks amazing. So I mean, it's a kind of a warming dish right now because the weather's still a little bit cold. It's turned a little bit. So hasn't yes, it, it has. Which is a great shame. So, oh look at that. Look at that. that. So Beautiful good. and roasted. Mm. Just a nice portion like that. It's lovely, and we've got all of this on the website if um, people want yes, to. Yes, so tuck to into cook that. It. That looks fantastic. Look at See this. What you think? Oh, and you can serve it with rice, or mm, what you could do, mm, 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 if you're on a low-carb diet, mm -hmm. you could whiz this in the blender and you can make five-spice rice. rice. Mm. 